everyone and welcome back again to my channel. For today's video is I'm going to teach you how to use Zoom and its features like changing backgrounds or adding video filters or how to write on screen or how to let your students write on screen when you are teaching. So let's get started. So first is when changing a background first, okay, I'm going to teach you first how to change your background. As you can see, I already have my background here. But to change that, just uh, follow me. Just follow the mouse, okay, here. So, uh, beside the video here, you, you can see this small arrow up here. Then just click it out. Click that one. And then you can see here, video settings, choose video filter and the background. Okay, choose virtual background. Okay, you are going to choose that. Choose virtual background and then you can see like that. Okay, this is what this one will appear on your screen. Just I'm just going to drag it on the side so that you can see me clearly. So how to change this background? Okay. So in the zoom, you already have a default background, like this one, blur background, or this one. This is the default background. You can see this one immediately in your zoom or this one. And, and this, okay. You also have a video or moving background. So in order to change that one, if you don't like this background, just click this one, this plus sign here, and then add add a an uh, image or a video. But if you don't have yet the uh, background that you wanted here in your Zoom, so you can first download, download first a flower, flower background, okay? Let's download a flower background or wallpaper Okay, you can just choose any of it. Okay, just choose which one do you like. Uh, maybe this one, I like this. And then, if I like this one, then I'm gonna save this one in my computer. Okay, so it will save in the download. Okay, so it will be downloading now. And I can still add more. Okay, I will find another one. Okay, this one is pretty. Okay, a good background. I'm gonna save this one also. Okay, there you are. Okay, so maybe another one, blue or purple, or but this one is a very small size, so find a bigger size that will fit in your background. Okay, this one I guess, this one is pretty. Okay, so we are already done downloading. Now we can change it now. So let's go back to this one and then choose virtual background and then this one. Okay, click the plus sign here and then add image. Okay, so let's go to our downloads. Here you can see we have here the flower that we choose. Okay, like for example, the sunflower. There you can see it. Okay, it's nice, but I'm covering it. But there you are. Or we will choose the other one. This one, the blue. Wow, that's so nice. Okay, this one nice. And then the last one that we choose, uh, we, we can change it again with this one, I think. Yes, I think that's right. Okay, I have a white background now. Okay, that's pretty. Or, if you want to have a moving background, okay? If you want to have a moving background like this one, like it seems like you are in a beach, okay? Still, you are going to download first in the in YouTube okay and then after that you're going to add videos so the one that we do is add image so now this time we are going to add video so add video so I already have a downloaded video so I just have to find it where is it in my um, PC okay here I already have downloaded video so I can change my background into moving just like this one so that's it okay i have a moving background now if you don't like moving background it's okay to choose the image okay add image oh, that is how to change your background so next thing is adding the this one choose a video filter okay but if okay if you will not going to use this one because now it's ready for your meeting but um, it's up to you so i'll just have to choose to teach you how to do it so here's the video filter so you can change change your color like that black and white or this one okay you can just click these features here or that okay you can choose a lot from there here this one look at that <laughs> a lot of images okay so 
there you are you can change okay there you have lots of choices in there even <laughs> that's funny a <laughs> rabbit okay okay you, you even have here you have here the mask okay so even this one it's kind of pretty okay maybe you can just use this one when you're talking to your friends but not in your class of course okay so there you are there are this one <laughs> the butterfly there and it's so cute in there so that's it that is how you're going to change your background or your uh, video filters okay that's kind of cute though and then this one another one yes we have a bird or a parrot is that a parrot okay let's let's just leave it there so next one i'm going to teach you how to um, write on the screen okay write on the screen so i'm going to share my screen first if, if you have something to show that uh, you want your student to answer so here for example this one so here you have here writing so how are you going to let your student write okay so first you go to annotate here you can you see the if you can see this one find this pen sign here then the annotate click this one and then if you're going to let your student answer for example number one which is number three mushroom what is it is it accountable or, unco or uncountable then call your students and then let them write but first uh they need to uh this one if it's uh for a better writing you have to choose this text because if this this one is for draw for example this one only okay. mm. Okay, again this one the draw so it's so hard to write because it's so hard to control your mouth if you are not an expert this one no it's so hard to write so don't let your student uh, write in this way so let's clear that one if you want to clear also this one just please click this uh, recycle bin uh, character here then click all the drawings click my drawings or clear viewers drawing if your students are writing on the screen so you can click all the drawings but if not including your drawings just click this one click your viewers drawing or click my drawings if you written it incorrectly okay so this one just clear it all so it's just uh, so easy one click okay then it's all gone this one so this one you choose this one the text so when you click that one so you can write there immediately countable okay countable so that's it so you can also change the color you have here the blue color or you can also change the font size here like 18 okay or if it's too small just click the, click the 48 okay and the width like width or make it uh, no, like that one. Uh, let's have here. Let's say uncountable. Okay, so you can, it's up to you. You can choose the color also for uncountable. You let them uh, use the yellow color. Okay, so that's it. And then for stamp, for you as teacher, if you want to check their work, okay, just click this one, the stamp here. Okay, we'll go back to that one. Okay, the stamp here, you click this and then the check if you want to check their answer just there check or for the younger one like the preschools okay you can put star okay for elementary students they like it so much if you have there the hearts and the stars okay so that's it I'm gonna clear that one again and then um if you want to use this one the cursor this one is very nice spotlight okay in order for your student to follow what you are saying or what are you reading in there uh, this is their guide okay you use the spotlight and this one because here it's easy for them to follow what you are talking about when you are letting them read like mushrooms number four eggs number five sweets so it's easy for them to follow okay and then so I think that's it and then also for okay I'm gonna erase this one all of this first and then let's go to this one for uh, drawing a line for example you're going to let your student draw a line 
like uh, this one is draw a line to match the common knot to proper knot so this was my lesson this morning so uh, this one this side here is are the common knot and this one are the proper noun so let them uh, draw the correct pronoun to this common noun here okay uh, let them connect the proper noun so let them use this one you click this draw and then the arrow okay so like for example number one mobile phone so what is the proper noun of mobile phone so let them answer Okay, call them one by one and then let them answer. So there's, there you have a student participation and they will get excited also when uh, their time to write. Okay, it's their turn to write on the screen. Okay, and then next one, then you can change the color. For number two, you can answer number two. You can change your color. Okay, that's it. So it's easy. And then uh, we also have here, uh, you can change the width. Okay, if that is too small or too big you can change the width into very thin like this one for example and then let's have use let's use another color for country country there is the uaa this one is very thin right but if you don't like that one you can use this with the the bigger one okay let's use another color for mall okay what is the proper noun of mall okay you can use this one the bigger one see the center that's it so it's much bigger and it's much clearer to the students okay so i think that's it this is how you are going to let your student uh, uh, write on their screen okay and for sure they, they will enjoy this so much okay because i already uh, tried this one and they really love it so in white pad also here white pad if you if you don't have a prepared prepared a screen for them to write so you can write here if you have other topic that you're going to uh, you want to discuss but you don't have yet the the ready made worksheets so you can just write here immediately but make sure you click this text here and then just write okay number one okay so just write it and then answer number one like that and then if they're done let's just just check their work okay for number one that's correct okay that's it so that's all for today guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you do so just click the like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos bye